Welcome back to our channel. My name is Teacher Cedric, and today we'll look at one of the questions from the Raffles Primary Math World Contest from the year 2016. We are given three equilateral triangles here. The triangle ABC, the triangle FDE, and the triangle HIG. And we know all these vertices lie three quarters of the way along each side. In other words, the ratio of these sides are all 4 to 3. Now let's unpack it together, shall we? First of all, we notice there's a repeating pattern in this shape. The small triangle HIG is drawn in a similar way as half the middle triangle FDE is drawn in the big triangle ABC. Therefore, if we can figure out the relationship between the middle triangle FDE with the triangle ABC, we can simply apply the same method again to study the small triangle HIG. And now we are left with four sections. Where do you think would be a better starting point for us to analyze? If we were to start with the middle triangle FDE, we would reach a dead end pretty quickly as we have no clues about the sides, or the height, or the area. However, we have much more information about these three triangles. For example, if you know this is 1, then this is 3. If we know this is 1, then this is 3. And since they are all the same, we can just focus on one of them first. Now, in this lesson, we are going to learn a very unique and succinct way that you can deduce the area ratio of this triangle FEC just by pure observation. And how we are going to do that, we have to first look at a simple example first. Now, I have another triangle ABC here, which look almost identical to the one that we were looking at. And I'll tell you something about this triangle. The point D it is the midpoint of site AC. And the point C, E, F, B are all spread out equally along this side. So, can you figure out the area ratio of this triangle D, C to the triangle A, B, C? When you see the word ratio of the area or area ratio, it reminds us of the equal height model that we just learned in the previous lesson. The equal height model says if we have two triangles showing the same height, we can just make use of their base ratio and get the ratio to their areas. So, we have a bunch of ratio of the size here. Wouldn't it be nice if we can just apply this model into this shape? But we can't, since they doesn't look the same. However, can you figure out a way so that we can construct this model in this shape. Brilliant! What we can do, we can simply connect the point D to the point B, and now we get triangles with the same height in this shape. And now we are ready to find the area ratio of this triangle DEC to the ABC. And I encourage you to try it yourself by pausing the video now. Let's check your answer. First of all, we notice that the small triangle DEC share the same height as the big triangle DBC. So we know the triangle DEC is just one third of the triangle DBC. And on top of that, we see that the triangle DBC share the same height as the triangle ABC. So the triangle DBC is just one half of the triangle ABC. And by combining these two results, we can conclude that the triangle DEC is just one sixth of the triangle ABC. What we are doing here is basically applying this model two times in a row in this shape. But once we understand the logic behind this, we can simply observe the ratio of the sides, multiply them together, and get the ratio to the area. Now, to quickly recap, whenever you see a triangle with line connecting points on two sides, to find the ratio to the area, we simply multiply 
the ratio of the two sides. And to help you memorize this, I'll give it a name. Since this shape looks so much like a Mount Fuji, we'll just call it the Mount Fuji model. And now we are ready to tackle our original problem. But to start off, we first assume that the triangle ABC has area equals to one unit, as this will simplify our calculation. And from the Mount Fuji model that we just learned, the area of the triangle CEF would simply be 3 over 16. And to find the, triangle, the area of the triangle FBE, we simply take away 3 times this number from the area of the triangle ABC, and we get 7 over 16. Now, our final step will be to find the area of the triangle HIG, which we will just apply the same principle again and find that the triangle HIG will be just 7 over 16 of 7 over 16, and that will give us 49 over 256. So, if the area of the triangle ABC is 1, then the triangle GHI would have area 49 over 256. Therefore, our final answer, the ratio of the area between the triangle GHI and ABC, will simply be 49 to 256. And this is our final answer. And the main takeaway for, of this lesson is the Mount Fuji model. We know whenever we see a triangle with line connecting points on two sides, we can simply make use of their side ratio, multiply them together, and get the ratio of their area. And to test your understanding, I have prepared an additional question for you. If you understand everything perfectly in this lesson, you have no problem tackling this question. And if you want to check your answer to this question, simply scan the QR code at the end of this lesson. And if you do enjoy this lesson, please press the like button, subscribe, and share this to your friend. I'm Teacher Cedric, and I'll see you next time.